Hi, this is Chris from dashcamcentral.com.au and today we're going to show you how to set up your DoD RC500S dual camera front and rear dash cam with Wi-Fi and uh, we'll show you how to connect the app and we'll have a quick look at some of the settings in the app as well. So what we'll do is we'll just have a very quick look at the camera here. So we'll just bring it up close so you can see three button operation and you've got your reset button in there as well. Uh, you've just got your emergency record, audio on and off and your Wi-Fi on and off. And if we just roll over, you can see you've got three LEDs which will give you the status as well. Recording on and off, audio on and off and Wi-Fi, duplicating the buttons. Rolling over, you see we've got some more venting holes. And then if we just keep going, we can see you've got the lens. So if we roll over to the top of the camera, you can see that there's nothing on there. If we just roll over to the other side here, you can see that you've got three slots. One is your mini USB in power. You've got your micro SD card slot and you've got your AV in, which is your video lead to connect your front to your rear camera. So we'll just pop that one back there. And we'll have a quick look at the rear camera, which is just a mini version of the front. No buttons on this one. One tiny LED there, which will tell you that the camera's recording, so you know I've got power to it. You can check that in your rear view mirror. Just rolling over. Some more venting holes there. You can see the lens on the front. Nothing on the top. And of course, over on the back, we've got the AV in as well for connecting that video cable to your front camera. So we're just going to pop that back on there. So to get us up and running, next thing we need to do is insert a memory card into the camera. This camera takes up to a 128 gig card. So there's your micro SD card there. Today we're just going to use a, a 64 gig card. So we'll slot that into the camera nicely. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to power in the, the lead and then the supercapacitors should charge up for us. Camera should switch on and tell us it's going into record mode. So there we go, camera's gone into record mode. So it's happily recording away, front camera only, because we haven't connected the rear. And then in the meantime, next thing we've got to do is go and get our app. So this is an Android phone, so we've got the Android app. The best way to find the app is to search for DOD space dash cam. As you can see, I've already downloaded and installed this one, so we're just simply going to go in and open up that DOD app. So once that app cams up, it's going to tell you, ask me if I want to record, uh, connect to my regular internet. I don't. So what we're going to do now, push the internet button on the camera. Wi-Fi on. Pause recording. And we're going to tell us that we've paused the recording, the Wi-Fi is switched on. So the next thing that we want to do is not connect to your normal internet. We want to go and connect to the camera. So we're going to go into our... Wi-Fi settings and we'll see the DOD camera has come up so there's the Wi-Fi that we need to connect to and it is going through and connecting right now so it's telling us that we switched off our normal internet so we're just going to dismiss that we're going to go back to our DOD app and we're going to ask to connect so it's telling us that we need to just Go into that app again because it's disconnected, which is fine, and you'll see that the camera will quite simply and easily connect. So it's telling us right now, Recording now. that we are connecting to our camera. And there you go. So we've got live stream on at the moment. So we can see that uh, if I just give that a bit of a jiggle, you can see that the video recording uh, does move. And we are in fact recording, and we've got the app up and running. So that's uh, quite easily how you set up your DoD RC500S and connect to the app. So it can be done quite easily in just a, a few minutes. Uh, when you do first connect to the app, you may be asked for a password. Password is 12345678. So if you are asked for a password, that's the one you enter, and then you can quite simply connect to the app. Um, and there you go, you're up and running. So a couple of things here you can see on screen, uh, you can see that we're not going anywhere, so you've got your, your speed on screen, you've got recording on screen, so it tells you that we're nearly a minute into the first recording, 
and you've got a couple of settings uh, across the top there as well. So if we tap the screen, um, we can touch here and it will bring up, uh, normally it will bring up a GPS map, so an overlay, so you can have that GPS overlay. We're indoors, bench testing at the moment, so that's not going to be displayed. We can also go in and have a look at the settings. So you can see you've got your video mode, your photo mode, your loop recording quick settings, and you've got your other settings. So if we go in, we're just going to have a quick look at our other settings, just so you can get an idea of, of what you can and can't change on this particular camera. So as you can see there, we'll just roll through. So you can have a change to your screen display. So you can have front only, rear only, or front and rear, big and small. So you've got a couple of options there that you can roll through. You can switch your video stamping on and off. You can change the length of the loop record. So you can see there's a couple of options from off right through to 10 minutes. Uh, you can have your camera time sync with the device so it can sync with uh, the app. Uh, it will of course update from GPS as well. So change your volume settings. You can adjust your time zone, so if, for example, like us, we're here in Australia in Sydney, what we want to do is adjust our time zone to Sydney, because each time the GPS connects, it's going to set to Green Manage Time, and your time will be out, so you need to make your adjustment for your local time, so that your timestamp is accurate on your camera. So we've just done that now. And just rolling through, you can have your speed warning on or off, so that is for your speed camera alerts and of course you need to ensure that you have the uh, firmware that relates to your local time zone or uh, local area so our firmware does have that for Australia so we'll leave that set on. You can adjust your G sensor so switch it off low, high, medium. We always recommend low for that otherwise you're going to get a lot of locked files and that's the same with any dash camera. Change your audio settings if you want. Uh, you can have your parking monitor on or off Rotate your screen, so you can invert your screen depending whether you're mounting your camera left or right. Uh, same goes for your back screen. So adjust your exposure values. Uh, you can uh, have your ISO stamping printed on the screen. Uh, I don't actually like that. So uh, I was going to switch it off, but it tells us to adjust that. We do need to switch off the camera, stop it from recording. So with some settings, you do in fact need to... Um, stop the recording to change the settings on the camera. And you can see down the bottom here, it's just telling us how much space we've got. We've got 57 gigs on our micro SD card, and we can see that we're on the latest firmware version, uh, which is 3717. Um, so, what we'll do is we will just go back to our stream mode, and uh, over here on the left, we can have a look at our recorder files. It's telling us we need to stop recording, which is fine. So we're going to stop the recording. Pause recording. It told us that it stopped recording. Now we can go in and it's just having a look, processing, and it should show us that we've got a couple of files on there. So you can see we've got a whole bunch of recording files. Then you can go in and play back. So you can select any one of those and go in and play back those files. So going back to the main screen. And you can actually drag this around, we might just move that, yeah, so you can see that we've dragged that clock off the screen, and of course, the last thing is, you can always just easily recording now. start and stop your recording with one touch from your phone app. Pause recording. So that is a very quick look at your DODRC 500S, uh, how to get set up and running, uh, and how to install and uh, connect to your phone app. So this is Chris from dashcamcentral.com.au.